what up it's go beast and today I'm gonna be talking about why I left SD now I know what you're thinking you just joined SD how could you already be leaving it well pretty much I was kind of like the reason that I wanted to join SD was cuz my the, the GSQ no one ever played together no one no one person and like almost everyone left and uh, pretty much the same thing happened with SD but originally uh, I used to play with the members of SD daily you know what I'm saying I would play with them all the time we had so many people in here and it was like every day I'd play with them and then I don't know what happened but over time we just kind of like never we, we just never started playing dude I don't know what happened we we never started playing together and um and then i was like okay okay maybe i'll just go play with them a little bit see if we can get this back so i went and did that but it turns out that half the people that i did play with that were in sd had left already so there wasn't i don't know those were the people that i would play with because they're in, like that was those are the people i would play with so I feel like those would be the people in my clan, you know what I'm saying? But, um, then after that, after those group, but like, I think it was like seven people, I'm talking, bro, seven people left and went into join different clans and stuff. So then, I mean, I, I still played with some SD members. So we had Nathan and Victor. Those were the last two that I usually play with. May, me and Mason, I don't know what happened. We just never play ever. I don't know what happened. So it was just me and Victor and Nathan constantly, constantly, constantly. And I was kind of fine with that. But, like, I was kind of like, bro, I'm kind of limited on options. You know what I'm saying? But, um... So then, after a while of uh, all, all us three playing together, like all the time, Nathan decided that he wanted to leave SD. Nathan left SD. One of the main people I play with, he left SD, and he went to go join a Rainbow Six clan. And I'm not mad at him, okay, because he wanted to go try out some Rainbow Six competitive. It didn't work out, but he wanted to try it out, and I'm not mad at him for it. But after that, it was kind of just me and Victor and that's not really a clan you know what i'm saying that's just my friend if it's just one person and he was the only one i ever played with so he was in sd but and then uh, he left eventually i think he like just left it recently uh yeah he did and nathan decided he wanted to make his own clan it was either Nathan or Victor, I don't remember which one. But they decided they wanted to make a whole different clan. And I was in here like, bro, no one in SD I ever played with. Those were the only two people, and they're not in SD anymore. So I kind of feel like there's zero reason for me to stay in SD if it's just them. It's just no one, honestly. It's just me in SD. So, uh... Uh, I did join the new clan. I'll probably talk about that probably soon, and uh, see what. And hopefully we can do some pretty good dope things with that. And um, so yeah, I joined. I joined their new clan, which was like yesterday. I think I joined. And uh, now I'm just making this video right now. The clan is called Exotics. And now Nathan is going super try hard on this. And my man has is literally he, he says he's gonna make a business email that's gonna be pretty cool we have a whole Instagram page a whole snapchat page a Facebook page so we're going all in with this and see if and hopefully we can get some members and yes if we don't get enough members then I'll probably leave this clan but I have pretty high hopes cuz uh, I don't know but yeah, so my new my new clan I'm in is Exotics, and you can see it in my new logo on YouTube. And if you follow me on Instagram, it's my logo on Instagram now too. And um, that's that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. Uh, 
Cause the, like I said, Nathan and Victor are like the only two people I ever play with. So I feel like it's it's kind of it's right that I go into here if they go into that, you know. So that's pretty pretty dope. Um, anything else I need to talk about? I think that covers it for a while. Left SD, pretty much the same as leaving DSQ. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, I have high hopes in this new clan, and I hope we can do great things with this clan. Get a whole, a whole like friend group made out of this clan. Uh, that would be uh, pretty a lit, you know what I'm saying? But now let's just play some Fortnite, and I'll see if I can ha find anything else to talk about. Uh, let's see. A random thing, a random note, dude. I don't know like why or where he gets it from but Nathan he's super good at making these logos he he designed the SD logo and he also just designed this uh, this exotic logo and they look amazing I don't know how he does it but it, uh, he does he does very well on these so that's always good to hear uh, <clears throat> Also, your boy has been playing a lot of Call of Duty and not Fortnite, so you might see some Call of Duty videos coming out. I mean, you already saw some Call of Duty videos, but yeah, your boy's back on uh, back on the trick shotting grind, back at like just like his BO2 again. Uh, yeah, who trick shots in 2020 on BO3? Yeah, I know, I know, whatever. But uh, hopefully, I can try to get like a small little montage done. I'm thinking about trying to do that. Uh, that's that would be pretty lit, you know. Put have a bunch of my clips in there. Each of my clips so far about 30 seconds, so I, I might be able to do some pretty pretty dope stuff with these clips. But um, yeah, dude, that's that's pretty lit. Back to Call of Duty. I'm I'm super excited for Cold War. If I get the game when it comes out, I'm definitely making YouTube videos about it. At least at least a couple. And my my expectations for the game, I really just want good sniping, good trick shotting, and good zombies. That's all I want in this new Call of Duty Cold War. If you haven't already, go check out the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War trailer. It's it's, it's like officially out, and it's insane, bro. Uh, I'm probably gonna pre-order it honestly, cause um. Your boys, your boys trying to play that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but let's see what else. See, I would make a different content a lot more, but it's just half the games that I have cannot be recorded. I have the games that I play. Like I've been playing Oblivion, and I'm not sure I can record that. I we, I really wish I could. Oblivion's an amazing game. I have a lot of Skyrim videos, and it's, it would be pretty cool to get some Oblivion on the channel. So, uh, I might, I, I might try to see what I can do on that, but... Honestly, I'm gonna keep it real, I'm probably not gonna make a series, uh, or a couple of videos on it. Um, simply because I've already gotten pretty far in the original storyline, and I'm not trying to re- I'm not trying to restart. Uh, cause I am on, li I'm on limited time to, to play that game. So, probably no videos on that, but it's definitely something I'm playing right now. Um, that's pretty lit. Alright, State of Fortnite, I think I might want to talk about real quick. So, a lot of people are saying Fortnite's dying. I don't really, I don't think it is, honestly. I, don't, I really don't think it is. Uh, season was pretty amazing. Uh, only problems I have with the season is it doesn't really feel like a new season more as more so just like a big update But uh, with what they're doing they've been like adding stuff recently Definitely sounds more like uh, a season and it feels more like a season So I can't wait to see what they do with all the content this season um, Super pumped for that rifts are back um, Hello, do the, the loot pool in the game right now is amazing in my opinion uh, I don't know if you guys don't like it but I think it's almost one of the best loot pools that they've had in Fortnite history bro this, this loot pool is amazing 
Especially even in competitive, it's still amazing, bro. Uh, let's see. Honestly, and also a lot of people been saying like the charge shotgun is bad. I know like a lot of people don't like it. They I don't know, but in my opinion, the charge shotgun might be one of the best shotguns in the game. I don't know, bro. Like I usually take charges over pumps if I find them, depending on color. Uh, and I don't know. I mean, the charges for some reason it hits super hard. I don't know if that's just that's just me. But it hits super duper hard, and I consistently hit for over a hundred most of the time with that gun. Look at this kid, dude. He's pretty. He's pretty, pretty nice. I had no fuel. Look at this. I, I never find people like this. Most of the time, they just want to murder me all day. That's not the case with this guy. That's pretty lit. I'll be. I'll, I'll get banned for teaming. That would not be very good. I'm just gonna let him live. I don't see a reason to try to kill him. Hopefully, I don't get banned. I'm just gonna leave him alive, honestly. Alright. Now we split ways. A uh, charge shotgun. Like, here, I'm 100% taking the charge. Because I only have a great pump. Maybe if the pump was, like, blue. I mean, if the pump was blue. I would have kept the pump, but it's not. So, your boy's gotta take the young charge shotgun. See if there's any people on the edge of zone, real quick. And also, let me talk about the combat shotgun, real quick, dude. And he just hit me for so much damage with the, with the charge, dude. That's why the charge is the best gun in the whole game, bro. That's what I'm talking about. It always hits for so much damage, bro. This guy's a super AI bot, and he hits for you for that much damage. Yeah, this guy hits only max damage with the charge shotgun. I'll tell you that right now. And he's down, boys. I had a purple charge shotgun, dude. He has the best loot in the game. <laughs> Let me heal up a little bit real quick. Also, back to what I was saying. I would, I just want to talk about the combat shotgun real quick. I understand a lot of people do like the charge shotgun or the combat shotgun. I just don't. I just don't like in my opinion the combat shotgun might be the worst shotgun that's ever been released I didn't like it before but now with the new stats um, If you didn't know the stat the, the combat got nerfed so hard The blue combat that's 50 damage max body shot now It used to do 77 Like what and that was trash to me so 50 damage Never dude <laughs> never and uh, purple is not much better. Uh, and the gold, I think it does what 55 max. It's so bad. Cause I like I could use any other shotgun in the game and hit for so much more damage, dude. Why would I ever use a, a combat, dude? The only good thing the combat even has in stats are just the range. That's it. Nothing else. Just range. Cause the range on that thing is insane. I can I can never deny that, but. Other than that, dude, that gun is absolute dookie, bro. Like, I don't, I don't understand why people would take it over any other shotgun in the game. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like it may be good for competitive, 
because you can like go for little tags and stuff while everyone's uh like in end game and stuff you can just go for little tags with the charge or not the charge the combat shotgun hit it for uh, a little bit of damage uh get some tags or storm surge maybe if they're low you get a, a kill out of it you know so i can see i might be good at competitive but out of that dude i feel like the combat's pointless but don't get me wrong i love that the combat is back in the game it's just cool to have in the game uh so much variety for shotguns now it's amazing uh now the mythics yeah, yeah, yeah i like the mythics most of the mythics give you movement and in my opinion i don't feel like mm, any of them are really overpowered i feel like some of them may be a little too good but none of them are overpowered you know i want to snipe this guy if he stands still <laughs> look at him look at this turbo right here only delinquents have the gauntlets <laughs> also if you guys didn't know there's a glitch in the game to just fly up to this flow up to max height kind of similar to the season uh the season two water storm glitch but you can't control this one it's pretty cool i'm not going to tell you guys how to do it because not the best idea but i do know how to do it and it's actually super funny <laughs> all right where are these other retards at I don't really want to fight that guy. He looks like a super omega try hard dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Look at him. What is my man doing? He's so fast, bro. Aw, dude, if he wasn't if he didn't shoot that second gun, then I probably would have hit him. Alright, another topic to talk about the Stark Industries energy rifle. Bro, if you don't think this thing is good, you you are sleeping. You're just sleeping on it. That's all I can tell you, dude. You're sleeping on this weapon. Look at the base body shot damage, 39. And look at the crosshair. That's you. You can literally shoot like that, and like hit fire and have the accuracy be that good. If you aim in, this thing does about 50 body shot damage. That's awesome, crazy stuff, bro. I think it does like 48 or 49 or something like that because it's purple, but the gold one does do 50. And overall, dude, this is just an amazing rifle. Uh, the charge aspect is kind of like a charge AR. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit iffy, but you don't really have to. You don't really have to aim in because you can hit fire from so far away with this weapon, and it will still hit no cap because of the because the the accuracy bro the hip fire accuracy is insane on this weapon what yo we don't talk about how i missed that shot bro okay dude i'm not sniping anyone in the whole game all right where's this dude back here i know he's back here i think yep here he is look at the biggest sweat in the whole game bro look at him Look at him, bro. He's the biggest fan in the whole game. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's just he's just up here cranking. Ah ha 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 ha. You have been hit by the charged shotgun, which is like things like that. I hit that kid for a 189 with the charged shotgun. That's on some crazy stuff, bro. No cap. I'm gonna just heal up in this group bar real quick. Back to the mythics. I think they're super duper good. Uh, super good rotation, and we always love rotation. <laughs> And all around, dude, they just get, like, other than rotation, they're just super fun to use. And everyone loves a good bit of fun things to use in Fortnite. So that's amazing. <laughs> what? 
How did I just die to this kid? That's crazy. He lasered me. I thought I thought I would have him dead, dude. I should have boosted a little bit. Alright. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um why I left SD video. Uh so that's pretty much all I have to say. I have high hopes in this new exotics clan and I hope it does well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. See ya.